a young woman tragically lost her life in a baffling series of events at the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. This is Something Strange. Elisa Lam was born on April 30th, 1991. She was a daughter of immigrants from Hong Kong and she was a student at the University of British Columbia. In January 2013, she took an Amtrak and inner city buses on a trip to California. As with anybody visiting California, she visited the San Diego Zoo. She took photos and posted them on social media. On January 26, 2013, she arrived in Los Angeles and checked into the CISO Hotel. To give some background on the CISO Hotel, it has had a long history of unusual occurrences to say the least. All the way back from 1927 to 2015, there have been a total of 18 deaths that all range from suicides, accidents, and even murder. It's these occurrences that have given popularity to the hotel as also being one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. When Elisa checked into the hotel, she originally booked a shared room, but her roommates were complaining that she she had certain odd behavior and she eventually got her own room. According to Amy Price, the manager of the Cecil Hotel, Lisa Lamb was leaving notes for her roommates that said go home, go away, and will lock the door to the room and require a password for entry. A few days before her disappearance, Lamb attended a live taping of Conan and Burbank, but was escorted off the premises by security due to disruptive behavior. On January 31st, 2013, when she was scheduled to check out of the hotel, her next destination was Santa Cruz, but her family being concerned about her safety, contacted the Los Angeles Police Department and went ahead and flew down to LA to help with the search. Police conducted a search as much as they legally could at the time. They searched her room and had dogs go to the building, including the rooftop where the dogs were unsuccessful in detecting her scent. The police didn't search every room as they didn't have problems cause. On February 6, roughly a week after Lamb was last seen, police reached out to the community, they posted flyers, and they talked to the neighboring residents to see if there's any trace of her. Katie Orphan, the manager of the last bookstore, bookstore outside the hotel, was the only person that recalled seeing Lamb that day. On February 13th, another week went by and there was still no trace of her. The LAPD decided to release a surveillance video of the last time Lamb was seen on January 31st. The video went viral to say the least as she was exhibiting very strange behavior while in the elevator. The following video is that surveillance video. At Hotel Cecil, guests began complaining of lower water pressure and even the color of the water being black and having an unusual taste. On the morning of February 19th, Santiago Lopez, a hotel maintenance worker, did find Lamb's body in one of four 1,000 gallon tanks located on the roof, which provides water to the guest rooms. When he opened the hatch, he saw Lamb lying face up in the water. 
tank was drained and cut open since its maintenance hatch was too small to accommodate the equipment needed to remove Lamb's body. On February 21st, the Los Angeles Coroner's Department did conduct an autopsy and they determined that there was no sign of physical trauma, sexual assault, or suicide. The toxicology report didn't find any illegal substances other than the medications that she was already taking, but at the most there was a very small amount of alcohol in her body. But investigators and experts did conclude that she was under medicating for her conditions or that she simply stopped taking her medication recently. Which is a good segue into the cause of this tragedy and this this loss of life is that you know she was suffering from at least bipolar but from my understanding bipolar you have a series of manic episodes and you have a series of low episodes and her behavior was something more akin to a psychotic break so she has had issues in the past and and this would also definitely explain the erratic behavior she showed with her roommates what happened on on the set of Conan O'Brien and just other incidences of her past. The really strange part of this case is that the investigators did determine how she died, but it's not understood how she got into the tank to begin with. Doors and stairs that access the hotel's roof are locked, with only staff having the passcodes and keys, and any attempt to force them would supposedly have triggered an alarm. The hotel's fire escape could have allowed her to bypass the security measures as her scent trail was lost near a window that connected to it. Another unusual question that's coming up is how she managed to get into the tank by herself as all four tanks were roughly about four by eight feet and they were propped up on concrete blocks. There was no fixed access to them and hotel workers had to use a ladder to even look at the water. They were also protected by heavy lids that would have been difficult to replace from within. The hotel employee who also found the body said that the lid was open at the time, removing the issue of how she could have closed the lid from the inside. Police dogs that did search through the hotel for Lamb, even on the roof, shortly after her disappearance was noted, did not find any trace of her. In conclusion, it's just a very tragic story, and I know it's been covered a lot everywhere, but I really wanted to do a video on it, um, her recommendation as well, and it's just sad. And it's also weirdly unsettling and creepy at the same time, mainly what happened afterwards. So, thank you for watching.